A touch of gold in any artwork add elegance and class. It makes the piece so sophisticated. Check out today's beauty. It's a combination of blues, magenta, neon pink, greens on a nice white background. Check it out guys, you're gonna love it. Hello again everyone, it's Camille. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'll be working on a 13 inch round canvas and I've already gone ahead and placed the white base on the canvas. I'll be using colors, um, neon pink, uh, blues, um, some magenta, turquoise, and of course gold. And yes, green. The names of the paints, of course, will be listed in the description box below. You guys can always go ahead and do check that out. You know, adding the gold to this piece really bring a touch of class and, of course, some elegance, you know, and it makes the piece look so sophisticated. I'm so happy I added the gold to it. I do hope you guys stick around to the end and watch the entire process of this piece. The spoon swipe technique that I came up with you know it creates some beautiful masterpiece guys I have to say and the dahlias are just so you know elegant and they maintain their shape whenever I do swipe it with the spoon swiping with the spoon you know it requires a bit of a light hand you know you should not um, swipe too heavy-handed you know just take your time with it and just have fun if you do decide to give this technique a try um, you know mixing your colors and um, you know creating the color combination using the palette that you want you know just be creative with it you know just give it a try you never know how it's gonna turn out unless you give it a try I know some colors will do create mud or you know brown or maybe some some weird orange but you know you won't know unless you do give it a try as you can see right now I'm using the blue and the pink and it's created of course purple and I'm do loving it beautiful shade of purple so it's like I'm working with three colors but of course as you see it's only the blue and the bright pink I'm just here working on this design because you know guys Mother's Day is around the corner or oh, you know what it's a great gift idea so I'm doing this fun and easy and simple design that's you know appealing to the eye so if you guys do love this color or if you do love this design let me know what you think about it in the comment section below so passionate about this float art you know and the fact that it's so freeing you know you can create whatever uh, comes to your mind make it abstract and just have fun with it you know you're not tied down to using a paintbrush or you know just those regular tools just be creative use a spoon you know and just create something fun the fluid art found me at a time when you know I was going through a lot and you know it's therapy you know art is therapy and this is therapy for me and the fact that I can get to um, to encourage someone and to influence someone and to motivate someone to get up and create and to think outside the box I am I'm very overwhelmed I'm happy that I get to be a part of your life be a part of your journey I'm happy I'm happy that I get to touch someone to create and be creative so I'm really happy about that guys because you know what this is what the joy is all about and I'm really happy to be a part of your world likewise you're part of mine right so I just want to share that with you because the moment you stop thinking about art um, being fun and you start making it oh my gosh it's always getting overwhelming no I don't want you guys to get there okay just remember that it's you and you're having fun with it I was reading someone's post on Instagram today another artist post and you know she she was mentioning that uh, you know artists struggle 
we struggled for the couple of years you know the first couple of years that we really started out you know we go through those starving years um, because you know we make the art uh, so much fun we put we put the joy in it you know we do that more than we think about the money that we're earning from this art and um, and I don't want to lose that and I don't want you to lose that the fact that you know the passion that you get from doing your art it's not about selling your art it's about making your art and that's what she was saying and I'm like oh my gosh you know she's so right and I want to share that with you two guys that the struggle is out there it's it's for real and it's real okay and um, I don't want it to be a turn off and I'm just gonna keep painting and I'm just gonna just love the colors I love working with colors if you guys know that if you guys know that about me I just love my colors and I love trying different color combination even if I think it's gonna be weird together I just put them out and I put them together and I paint and I while I'm painting and the idea come I just I just go with it you know because even when I was doing this piece I didn't really quite have a design in my mind I just know that these are the colors I'm working with and I'm just gonna let the idea come I know I'm working on a round canvas and I know this is a design that is just gonna come right so I do that a lot it's just like when someone is doing the Dutch pour or the blow dry technique they just put all the colors out there and they're like okay I'm gonna just blow this way and blow that way it's pretty much the same with me you know even though I'm doing a floral arrangement or you know a, a bouquet or whatever it is but I just go with the flow right and that's what the joy is all about and that's why it's so free and you're not tied down to any one way and you know it's just a beautiful thing to get involved with the fluid art and I do hope I can encourage someone to really you know be different and think outside the box okay so I don't want to lose the passion because yes this is a business also for me because you know I do love painting and I do love my art and people do reach out to me and they say okay you know what can you make me this piece do this for me do it in this color and that's where the business part is but at the end of the day guys I'm not gonna lose my way to make it all about the money I'm making art okay <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense but yes I do love what I do as you guys can see I am so passionate about it I'm also in several groups um, in Facebook and I remember one particular group when I shared my spoon swipe technique I was showing them the process I showed them a clip a short clip of the of a video that I did painting that I did and um, I remember this gentleman was saying why are you doing this why are you showing people your style they're gonna just take it and just run with it and you know what what you know and I'm like okay I've learned so much from watching other people I've learned the flower dip technique was one of the first technique that intrigued me and I learned it from Fiona Fiona art okay um, the Dutch pour I've learned it from Rinskadona you know Canela Siraco uh, Molly Molly artistry I've learned so much from them I'm like the spoon swipe technique I came up with a name I came up with the name but people do paint with spoon okay um but the way i do it i just layer it um, in a circle or dot or whatever and then i swipe it with the spoon other artists they dip the spoon in the paint and then they paint okay people just um do their own you know they find their own way and i don't mind sharing okay i love to share sharing is caring right and i do care um like i said guys i do learn from other artists by watching and I do make it my own way I, I develop from that you know this is not just a one-way thing uh, I don't mind <laughs> I'm so happy I am so happy to influence people so get up guys and try and don't worry about it ask me questions find me on Instagram find me on Facebook you know you can ask me question here in the comment section I'm here to help okay just remember that whenever you do swipe with the spoon to clean that spoon to wipe it okay and then yes just go again and have fun <laughs> have fun with it guys
here it is the close-up of the wet result check it out guys the colors are just beautiful and that green leaf oh amazing and i did add some gold in the center of the dahlias beautiful beautiful gold leaves as well did you guys see how i painted that i put the port of paint on dots and then swap it out amazing right i'm telling you guys there's just so much more that i want to share with you and i do hope that you get to come back and you know check out my contents and of course guys if you haven't subscribed as yet please go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the bell hit all so that you're notified each time i do post a new video And of course here is a dried result it's dried there's a coat of resin on this i had to resin this guys i just wanted to show you how the beauty of this one you know um, with the resin finish on it it does have a gloss finish and it really brings the colors out check out the center of the dahlia with the gold look at the green leaves they're just beautiful i, I know you can't really tell that there is resin on this but yes colors are vibrant don't you think guys i'm so happy with it um yeah give me a thumbs up if you do like this one and share this video with your friends and family and of course check out my playlist guys and i will see you next time on camila moy art bye